Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Technos product review. What if you purchased a Blue Eddy power station and realized after the fact that you need more battery? Typically, you'd have to buy that one battery specific to your one model that's compatible with the built-in battery port. Then once you see the price of that battery, you kind of succumb to sticker shock. Well, Bluetti just released a new expansion battery called the B300K that's compatible with four of their best-selling expandable power stations, and it's ridiculously cheap. But is it any good? Let's find out. Inside the B300K is a 2764.8 watt hour, and I had to laugh that they actually have it out to the first decimal point printed on the battery. So don't yell at me if I round it up to 2765. It's an automotive grade lithium iron phosphate battery or LFP rated at 4,000 cycles to 80%. This is 15% more cycles than the previous expansion batteries. You're getting more bang for your buck. As for the size and weight, it's 21 inches long by eight inches tall by 13 inches deep and weighs in at only 65 pounds, which is pretty good. And how they get it this small and lightweight is by using a new wireless internal design that allows it to be lighter and more compact than previous batteries. And when I say wireless, I don't mean Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I mean, it doesn't actually use wires between the batteries and stuff. Save some weight, save some space. Now here's the coolest feature of the B300K and that it is fully backward compatible with all the current Blue Eddy power stations that offer an external battery expansion port. So if you have a battery expansion port like this on your Blue Eddy, this battery will work. This includes the current AC500, AC300, AC200L, and AC200 Max. It's also forward compatible with some upcoming new models this year. The B300K does offer a pair of battery expansion ports, as you see here, and that enables you to chain several batteries together. Now, the number of supported batteries is gonna depend on the model of your power station. Note that the B300K can also be mixed and matched with the other Blue Eddy expansion batteries. So you don't have to throw away your old batteries and replace them with the B300Ks. It will work with your older batteries. This makes it the perfect cheap way to get more storage capacity for your current Blue Eddy. Now, being a budget battery, it offers no digital screen, but it would make Captain Picard cringe with its five light LED display. Tell me how many lights you see. There are four lights! It's also not water or weather resistant and can only be used in dry locations. In fact, they put a big warning sticker on the top to tell you just that. And because this battery is not heated, it will refuse to charge if its internal temperature goes below freezing. And like every other lithium iron phosphate battery, it will still discharge down to minus four degrees Fahrenheit. Now as for features, it's kind of slim pickings with this battery. You get a single basic USB-A port. They didn't spend the extra 10 cents to make it a quick charge. It's a basic five volt port. You do get four pre-drilled screw holes in the back so you can mount this to a wall. And the product is of course stackable, which allows you to save space. Blue Eddy is offering a pretty satisfactory four year warranty on this product. And of course we took the B300K here into my secret laboratory where we performed some crazy experiments on it, including an actual double fisted bang, bang. battery capacity test. Now you're probably asking how you do a double-fisted test on a battery that doesn't have an inverter. Well, I hooked it up to the AC300, which does have an inverter because there are no other input or output ports on this battery. 
Yes, there's no way to charge or discharge it on its own. You basically have to hook it up to another power station in order to use it. And because the B300K doesn't have any DC outputs of its own or any way to externally charge it, it is virtually impossible for me to accurately test the internal cell capacity without using a Blue Eddy power station that has an inverter, and that result is gonna have some losses. Now I intentionally chose the AC300 inverter module to do this, because it doesn't have an internal battery of its own. It's just gonna charge and discharge this battery. And the AC500 requires a different battery cable, but also has a less efficient inverter at lower loads. So using the AC300 is probably gonna give me the most accurate results that I could expect. You could expect better results plugging this into one of the AC200s because they have a smaller inverter and you're gonna get probably worse results if you plug this into the AC500 due to those higher inverter losses. What I did first was I did the DC battery capacity test on the AC300 using the 24 volt port instead of the 12 volt port. It scored 2150 watt hours out of 2765 for 77%. Now I'm not 100% on board with these results because I was having a difficult time limiting the output to eight amps at 24 volts. Instead, it ran the full board 10 amps during the entire test and it started really heating up my cables. So I know that I had some excessive loss from heat due to those cables getting hot. So let's take these DC results with a grain of salt because what I did was I ran a second test using the AC300's inverter and got different results. Now, if I had unlimited time to do this test again, I would run it from the 12 volt port that would take an extra entire day, which I don't have. This video has to come out today. Now, the results of the AC battery capacity test using the AC300, it scored 2,440 watt hours out of 2,765 for a much more respectable 88%. Now, this test was done on the AC300 at around 0.2C discharge rate or about 600 watts. And this 88% seems on par with most Blue Eddy products, so I feel this is about as accurate as I'm going to get with this battery. Okay, I got an AC300 and a B300K battery. Just showing you real quick that it is totally compatible with it. You see, I press the button, the light comes on. And there we go, it says battery pack two, charged to 77%. So everything is working just fine. Let's show the same thing on the AC200 Max. Same thing, AC200 Max, let's go ahead and turn it on. There you go, batteries being detected is number two, 77%, working just fine. So what do I think about this new B300K battery? Well, I have to admit it first, when I saw the B300K, I really didn't get it because Blue Eddy has tons of external batteries for all their different power stations. And the thing is, most folks love the Blue Eddy expansion batteries, and they specifically choose the Blue Eddy brand over other brands because those batteries are feature rich. They allow charging externally with solar or with a power brick. They offer tons of different kinds of USB outputs. They usually always have a cigarette lighter or 12 volt regulated output on it. It's basically its own power station without an inverter. People love that about Blue Eddy because a lot of the other brands don't do that. The B300 completely changes the Blue Eddy model because you only get one standard measly USB-A port. That's gonna take hours and hours to charge a modern cell phone, even if it can at all. It's also not heated like the B300S, which is a major step forward for the Blue Eddy batteries because people could use those products outdoors. And that means, yes, this needs to be kept out of the weather and above freezing if you wanna charge it. It's not heated, it's not fancy and complicated like the B300S. But once I saw the price and the compatibility list, I totally got it. Blue Eddy is offering the budget strap population of Blue Eddy owners a way to expand their power stations at the lowest possible cost by skipping all the features that they don't feel most people need. The B300K is just a battery, nothing more. Now you can still get the heated B300S battery with all the fancy features, USB ports, 12 volt regulated, be able to charge it with solar and all that stuff if that's what you want. It's just gonna cost you 300 bucks more. So now customers can pick their poison. The B300K is also much more compact and lightweight, making it perfect for camping, RV, or van life. It does make perfect sense to offer such a product in the current economic climate. And that brings me to what would be the use case for this battery. Now, it's not a standalone product. You do need to own one of the compatible power stations to charge it. 
There's just no other way to charge it. It's designed for the folks that want to expand their current AC200 series, AC300 or AC500 products, or for those just looking to get started with Blue Eddy by purchasing the battery in a bundle deal along with the power station. Now, if you click the link in the description and it takes you to the Blue Eddy website, you're gonna notice that the B300K bundles of the power stations are significantly cheaper than the bundles with the older batteries because the older batteries are more expensive. And that's the whole point. Now for the best part of the B300K. Bluetti was able to perform some serious cost cutting on this product to get the price all the way down to $11.99. Now this is only 43 cents per watt hour, which this is like generic ABC brand kind of money. Like you find some cheap, unpronounceable brand on Amazon, they're gonna be charging 40 to 45 cents a watt hour. So here is Bluetti, one of the top name brands undercutting even their generic competition with price. Now at the time of this writing, I don't know if Bluetti is gonna give me a code that's gonna knock any additional money off. If they do, I will put it in the description of this video. So if you're interested in this product, the link and discount code is gonna be in the description below. I'm also gonna put a link here at the bottom of the screen along with the QR code that you can scan on a mobile device. If you're watching me on TV, it's gonna take you on over to the Bluetti store page where you can check out the pretty darn cool and very darn cheap Bluetti B300K expansion battery. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Until next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box.